What it do, YouTube? Yeah, Gino the Dragon back. First, I want to send a special shout out to all the toy collectors out there. This one's just for you. Yes. So, in a previous video, I kind of showed this box and I'm finally getting around to actually showing you what was in the box, all the recent toys that I picked up. <clears throat> finally getting down to doing this video because I'm ready to crack these guys open and put them on the shelf. I haven't had a new toy display in a while, so yeah, it's time to get some of these bad boys up. And yeah, so let's get right down to the toys. As you can see, I'm going to start with the Transformers. And I'll save the best for last. <clears throat> so, first up is Transformers Generations Thundercracker. And finally, after a while, uh, found this guy, or I got picked this guy up. He's on the bottom there. Orion Pax noise. But I wanted this guy to complete my set of Seekers, the original ones, the Starscream. Skywarp and Thundercracker in this same mold, which I'm very happy to have. This is really cool design. And Thundercracker gets a couple points because he's blue. So yeah, Transformers 30th anniversary. Thrilling 30, as you can see right there. Check him out. Like I said, it's a pretty cool design. And though I'm not deep in Transformers, uh that makes some cool toys, so. I mean, got to give them that. All these guys I picked up from HTS. If you don't know this, Hasbro Toy Shop. So, yeah. Thundercracker, very long bio. Thundercracker believes that the ability to fly is the ultimate expression of evolution among his kind. <clears throat> he views all those without it as inferior beings, doomed to crawl and struggle in the dust. He proves this to himself over and over. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Ah, yeah, okay, there we go. He proves this to himself over and over by taking every opportunity to attack those below him, but his sneering superiority hides deep insecurity. He's a, wait. He's unsure of himself as a warrior, doubts his commitment to the Decepticon cause, and suffers an almost crippling fear of someday being trapped on the ground. I kind of had to read that one out the card because it was falling out of focus. Anyways... Yeah, it's Thundercracker, so he won't get into display just because I've already had Starscream up, so yeah. But the next guy definitely will. Decepticon Giaxis. I don't know how to pronounce his last or not last name, but his name. Uh yeah, like I don't really know what to say. Like he just has a really cool design. I saw him, I think. They showed him at Toy Fair, maybe. Toy Fair 2014. And, yeah, like I say, just looks, has a really cool robot design. I like the guns. Yeah, just better shot of those right there. Yeah. Uh, another Decepticon. So I'm kind of beefing up my Decepticon forces. It's uh, I don't really know what my count is right now. I'm going to take a look at that. Jaxus. Longs to end the conflict between the Autobots and Decepticons, not for peace, but because he views their battle as a stain upon the universe. To him, there are a bunch of obsolete models who should be replaced by superior beings able to rise above the urges of war. Now, one thing I will say is the color is orange is more, I don't really know what you call it. I don't want to say fluorescent or neon, but it's a little... I don't know, it was just off from the original pictures that we've seen as well as what's on the back. I like this tone right there, and I wish it was like that, but it's not bad or anything. It's just, this wasn't what I was expecting. So yeah, Transformers G-Axis, Decepticon, Transformers Generations. And now, jump to the awesome stuff, Marvel Infinite Series. Or Avengers Infinite Series, whatever. Formerly known as Marvel Universe. And picked up a bunch of new guys. And lady. Uh, yeah, got Ant-Man there. Plus a little mini Ant-Man. I do have Yellow Jacket from the Marvel Universe. Yellow Jacket, but 
Figured I'd get this just for the costume. And then you can kind of see what's all right there. I actually have all of those now. I have the Omega Red from the Marvel Universe line. So, yeah, I guess I'll continue to read the bio for this guy too. See if we can get it in focus. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'll just read it. Henry Pym never intended to become a superhero, but his invention of size-altering Pym particles catapulted him into a long career of fighting crime and ultimately and ultimately led him to become a founding member of the Avengers. So, yeah, Ant-Man. And next up is Deathlock. Now, I really have don't have much connection to this character, but just as an action figure collector, it just looks pretty cool. Like, I like his guns, especially that rifle. And the figure itself just has a nice nice design, nice mold. Oh, yeah, it looks like, see the ankle rockers, which I'm a fan of. I don't know if his wrists have the, uh, the pivot, but we'll see. So, yeah, death lock. You see my reflection. You might see some posters in the back, too. And there he is. See him in a sort of action pose. I should get that some focus better. His mind was trapped between life and death within the body of a cybernetic super soldier. Now he battles evil as a dimension traveling vigilante known as Deathlock. Yeah, I stated. I don't really care much about Deathlock, but the figure looks cool. So... Welcome to the collection, crazy cyborg guy. This one, we have Marvel Hyperion, Marvel's Hyperion. Similar to uh, Deathlock, don't have much connection to this character, but it's kind of impulse by like, fuck it, why not? I'll just pick him up. And if you're reading uh, any of the current Avengers, he doesn't actually use his costume. This was his older uh, Squadron Supreme costume and or was it Squadron Supreme or Eternal? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, Marvel's Hyperion, as the last surviving Eternal of an alternate Earth, there is little Hyperion cannot achieve, but when he is accidentally exiled from his own universe, he contacts his old allies, the Avengers, hoping that Earth's mightiest heroes can return him home. And clearly he's still here, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, I do kind of wish they would have made his current costume with the black, but I mean, whatever. Plus, I would have preferred he had fists because there's no re need for Hyperion to have open hands. He's not going to have any what? He's not going to hold any guns. So next up, we have Ares, the God of War, or excuse me, Marvel's Ares, whatever. But yeah, Ares, he's got his big sword, got a battle axe. Uh, not really sure what's going on with this guy right now. He might be in comic book limbo. Last time I saw him, he was getting ripped in half during Siege. So, yeah, by the century. Was that? Yeah, I think so. I don't even remember, but. Uh, yeah, Ares. This proud and fierce warrior was once the Olympian god of war. Now he fights alongside the Avengers, putting his formidable combat skills to the test against the Earth's greatest threats, always in pursuit of glory and the thrill of victory. Sounds like everybody. Next. Uh, always happy to have a cool woman figure in my collection. They're pretty, pretty rare. You definitely need more. So here is Valkyrie with the cool sword. I've seen reviews and I heard the the handle of the sword was like soft. It wasn't like a solid piece. So that's kind of weird. Make like it's kind of flimsy apparently. So yeah, I guess when I crack her open, we'll see. Once a goddess of Asgard, Valkyrie was chosen to carry the souls of fallen warriors to Valhalla. A master swordsman, she now wields her enchanted blade, Dragon Fang. I knew it had a fancy name. In defense of humanity alongside Earth's mightiest heroes. Maybe so another. Action pose, sort of. Valkyrie ready to fight with Dragon Fang. Next up, 
have Wonder Man in his Ionic form. I do have the other Wonder Man, but I wanted this just because translucent figures. If any of you are toy collectors, you know we all love translucent figures. So, yeah, they should have gave him a fist too. I didn't use those older legs, but whatever. Marvel's Wonder Man, the radiation that gave Simon Williams superhuman strength, speed, and stamina also grant granted him immortality. But recently, his body has become unstable. The, ion the ionic energy that powers Wonder Man appears to be leaking. Wonder Man is quite a conflicted character. Kind of came and attacked the Avengers, saying that they should disband because they're doing, I think it was like, he said they were doing more harm than good or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Simon. Simon says, shut the fuck up. Gino says, shut up. And saving the best for last. My main man. The number one X-Man. Cyclops. In his astonishing X-Men costume. Been waiting for this for a long time. It was supposed to be in a three-pack with... Uh, Colossonaut or... I don't know what you call him, Crimson Sidorak, uh Colossus, and Emma Frost. But they kind of delayed it or canceled it, whatever, and we got Cyclops on a single card. So, yeah, here we are. Behold Scott Summers in all his modern glory. Finally, finally, we did get a previous figure in this sort of costume like this. It was, it's not a, exactly identical, but... From the Wolverine Origins line, which had uh, a little less articulation and just all around less cool. So definitely happy to have this guy. And he's definitely going on the shelf. Believe that. For years, Scott Summers led, the, led his fellow X-Men into battle. But now he finds himself at the head of a growing mutant revolution. Although he wears the mantle of leadership uneasily. His comrades in arms trust Cyclops to guide mutant kind to a better future. He is the savior of mutant kind people, Cyclops. The number one X-Men. All you anti-Cyclops people can shove it. He's awesome. Catch an optic blast to your face. Cyclops doesn't play that. So yeah, definitely ready to crack all these people open. I love these Marvel uh, 3.7, 3.75 inch figures. Actually, they're probably closer to four, but I just love the scale of figures. I have a ton of these, and I suppose I might do a video one day showing off my entire collection of those, not my whole toy collection, because that would take forever. But yeah, definitely cracking these open. Uh, if anybody, I might, I need to start doing some uh, some video reviews. So if anybody wants to see any particular figures reviewed, uh, let me know. Not Thundercracker because I'm just going to crack him up and put him away. Just because we've all seen him several, that, that mold several times. So yeah, those are my toys. Give another look at everything. Awesome, awesome stuff. Action figures. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is my little toy haul. Enjoy my little uh, story time, tell my little bios, and pardon my little interruption uh, partway through reading some of the bios. Like I said, it's been a long day. And yeah, so that's that. So uh, happy toy hunting, happy doing whatever you want to do, collecting, whatnot. And yeah, this is Gino Dragon saying thanks for watching and peace.